Hello America and all my friends. My name is Joe and this is my backyard. This week on Spirit of 76, top five accessories you need most for your hobby sawmill. Dang, that fire is hot on the back of my legs. All right, folks, so a couple of points of clarification. We're talking about accessories or uh, manual tools, okay? So I'm not talking about power tools. I'm certainly not talking about chainsaws or a tractor or something like that that you might already have or have for other reasons. Certainly if you get in a sawmill, I'm just gonna go ahead and assume you have a chainsaw. Um, a tractor, that's its whole another thing with different attachments and those kind of things. So what we're talking about is five accessories okay that improve the strength of the sawmill all right to get the most out of your money a lot of you right now if you follow my channel it's all about hobby sawmill okay and introductory level stuff and so um we're talking about guys who maybe you're just getting the mill the first year on the mill uh those types of things with that being said here are my top five hobby sawmill accessories so on my list is log tongs okay uh, a couple things about log tongs, they uh, range in sizes. So these here, I think, go all the way out to 32 inch. I think Tractor Supply sells some that are only up to like 20 or 22 inch. Um, these here have a swivel head. I like the slip hook for chain or toe straps at the top of the tongs. The way tongs work, the more you pull, the deeper the hooks dig into the log okay and i didn't know like is that enough is it just gonna strip the the bark off the log and that kind of thing these actually work really well especially in vertical situations which i wind up a lot in with the lifting arch okay on this particular trailer um i also use it with the boom pole on the back of the tractor and i actually find not just for the sawmill but also when i do firewood work i like having log tongs around to manipulate the logs. All right, here's another accessory I love. And I know it sounds silly for my Southern friends. This is called a snow shovel, but around my mill, this is known as a sawdust shovel. I've often complained about just how much sawdust and how much byproduct you have to deal with when running a mill. It is surprising and enlightening, especially that first year, when you run that first 50 to 100 logs in. And I can tell you this is my most effective method for loading up the front loader or trash cans for friends or whatever the case may be to get the sawdust moved in a hurry. Get yourself an $8 snow shovel. This is a buck saw stand. Just a series of X's, a couple of cross braces. What I love about this particular project is you can make this yourself with the first couple of ugly boards that you happen to mill up. You can make it out of any material. It doesn't matter. In all likelihood, you're going to run your chainsaw into it and render it unusable at some point and have to make a couple of different generations. But basically, set that up in a good workflow with your sawmill. Then when your fletch cuts and your slab cuts come off, you stack them high and deep. You come back later with the chainsaw and you cut these half rounds and camelbacks and you've got split firewood ready to go. You simply can't do without a cant hook. This is by far um, something I waited too long to purchase. I just didn't understand how it would make me as strong as two men instead of one. Uh, the leverage, the bite, the ability to move logs around the yard is just second to none. Now, what makes this a cant hook is this little tooth right here, okay? And how that is a hook shit. A PV pole, that would be more of a spike coming out the bottom. I like the cant hook, okay? I find that it ends up biting exactly that. My cant's on the mill as well as round logs equally well, all right? A little subset of that is a log pick or a log rolling pick, all right? You can also have those one around, but... 
I like these. It allows me to roll the logs and position them as I need. And when you're working by hand, um, there's just nothing more valuable than leverage. Next up is these log ramps. Again, you can make these out of any wood. It's a perfect hobby Sawyer, beginning Sawyer project. Okay, all I did was make some four by eight beams. I drove part of that into the ground to secure it. I made these removable four by fours that bridge so I can walk alongside my mill. In the meantime, I have two edges that run under my logs. All right, that are very strong on the ground. It allows me to stage several logs in a row, all right? And so like a chef preparing his work on the counter, okay, I'm ready to go and move my material easily to the mill. Additionally, I would suggest a little 45 degree chainsaw cut at the back end and spacing them just wide enough for the front tires of your tractor to pull in narrowly in between so that you can get in nice and tight and still control the log and not just have to roll it from a distance. So there you have it, folks. That's my top five accessories, all $100 or less, some of them less than a couple of nickels of nails. But in the end, they're going to make you better at being a hobby sawyer. They're going to make you more efficient. They're going to improve your workflow and they're just going to make it more enjoyable okay as a hobby we want to make a few bucks without having to spend a few extra bucks hope this video was uh educational for you if you liked it please hit subscribe really appreciate the subscriptions trying to get those numbers up so i can keep putting out content to help my fellow hobby sawmill operators you folks have a wonderful wonderful day